here we go we got the new cutting blade steel blade and the two screws to go on top of the existing clipper all right first we're gonna take the new cutting blade make sure there's no cracks in it no chips in it no nothing everything looks good everything looks very very sharp and brand new as you can see very brand new very brand new okay and we're gonna place this on this piece right here see it's also the same shape as the hole so place this right here it should snap right on there as you can see all right now that we have the cutting blade in place it should not be able to move anywhere so we're gonna close the lever and then we're gonna place our steel blade steel blade on top here all right is I'm gonna put my two new screws in all right I'm just gonna place them in there place them both in there all right they, those are gonna be loose for a little bit so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press and hold the steel blade down while I insert a little bit of each screw into its rifle position oh, okay rifle position I'm gonna tighten it just enough so that my blade still can move if I needed to I can still move the steel blade as you can see I can still move it all right but, but since this is used as a fading precision fading tool so my goal is to zero gap this meaning i want the moving blade and the steel blade to be as close as possible to each other and if i'm using a closed lever this is how close the blade will be i have to be able to see how much of the steel blade will be exposed when the lever is up when the lever is down that will show me how much of the steel blade is exposed okay i got my blade <clears throat> pushed all the way up right now it's pushed all the way up so I'm gonna close this right and you can see that the cutting blade and the steel blade are still too far away from each other for in my personal um, preference so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to first I'm going to tighten this just a little bit a little bit more just a little bit more all right just a little bit more okay where i can still move the steel blade up and down if i need to okay Let's see. yeah i can still move it up and down very it takes some effort to do it but i still am able to move this up and down so now that i have the lever closed i can determine where the steel blade will be before I tighten the screws. So right now, I want the steel blade to be a little bit lower and closer to the cutting blade, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push this down, push the steel blade down some more so that when this is closed, it's almost flush with the cutting blade, but not enough to cut anyone that would be very dangerous and not okay so I'm gonna make my adjustment and at this point I'm using my eye to gauge how much of this steel blade I want exposed when I close close my lever okay so here we go now it's it's exactly where I want it to be because once I tighten these screws, this steel blade is gonna go down. It's gonna go down and this cutting blade is gonna be pushed up in a sense. So if I do this where I put too much of the steel blade down towards where the cutting blade is, then it's possible when I tighten this, 
the, the moving blade would be too flush with the top where I can cause damage to the skin by cutting the client. So I have to be mindful of how much I'm pushing the steel blade down, okay? So right now it's about where I want it to be and I'm giving a, a little bit of room then I'd like, just because I know once I tighten this, this is gonna move up anyways, so. Right. And there you have it. My blade is set as close as I need it to be with a little bit of an eye. See where my blade is sitting? My blade is sitting nice and pretty. Ooh, that sound is so sexy. Oh, so much more better. And I can't wait to use these. So thanks for watching.